when we start trigonometry, uh, we need to know what a radian is. Radian, uh, a radian is just another way to measure angles. But what does it mean? What is the definition of a radian? Well, here we go. You take any circle, start it to the center, so the radius is r. If we go along the circumference, a distance of r, radius length here, uh, the angle that subtends that arc is one radian. That's the definition of what a radian is. You know, uh, how many radians are in one full revolution? Well, since each radian in the angle measure corresponds to an arc of radius length, it depends on how many radius lengths are in the circumference. And how many radius lengths are in the, the, the circumference? The, the circumference is 2 pi r. Therefore, there are 2 pi radiuses around the circumference. Hence, there are 2 pi radians in a full circle. It goes something like this. 2 pi is about 6.28. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And a little bit of change, 6.28. It's an irrational number of radians in a full revolution. So over here, uh, the convenient conversions from degrees to two radians, we already said that 360 degrees is 2 pi in radians. You divide those by 2, you have 180 is pi. 90 is pi over 2, because it's half of 180. Uh, 60 is pi over 3, because it's one third of 180. 45 is pi over 4 because it's half of 90, and 30 degrees is pi over 6 because it's half of 60 degrees. Um, to convert between degrees and radians, uh, we have these conversion factors now, that's what the conversions were. If we want to convert uh, from degrees to radians, it would be the same thing as converting from inches to feet and so on. Uh, all that you need to do is you say 15 degrees multiplied by the appropriate factor is going to be um, pi over 180. You work that out, and that happens to be pi over 12. After you simplify it. The faster way to do that would be to notice that 15 degrees, since it's half of pi over 6, is going to be pi over 12. The other conversion factor, how do you go from degrees to radians? I mean, from radians to degrees. The multiplication factor is 180 over pi. Pi is always cancel, and what you're left with is uh, 3 quarters of 180, or uh, 135 degrees. Again, the faster way to do that would be uh, 3 pi over 4 is 3 times 45, which is 135. So you don't always have to use the conversion factors if you are familiar with what the angles are. What are the, uh, some of the, the uses of radian measure? Some of the formulas from geometry simplify if you use radian as opposed to degrees. Uh, the most notable examples are the area of a sector and the length of an arc. Back in geometry, when we dealt with um, angles measured in d d degrees, the formula for the area of a sector was, you take the central angle, and you divide it by 360 to get the proportion, you multiply that by the area of the circle to get you the area of that um, sector. Uh, the formula simplifies if you take the angle in degrees and convert it to radians first. Uh, so how do you convert from degrees to radians? You multiply by pi over 180. Here's a pi here. And this 360, that's like 2 times 180. So if you take this alpha, measured in d degrees, and multiply by 180, uh, pi over 180, this thing here is the equivalent of alpha in radians. Symbolize that as theta. So the formula becomes one half theta r squared. A little bit simpler. Similarly, for the length of an arc, um, the length of an arc, arc length s, it's the same uh, proportion that the central angle is divided by 360 times what the circumference is. Uh, so if you convert this to, ra to uh, radians, it gets even even easier. First of all, right, here it is, you just cancel these twos in here, 180, and there's your angle in degrees times pi over 180, and that just breaks down to theta times r. What the angle theta tells you is, it tells you literally the number of radius lengths that are subtended by that angle in the circle. 
So if this angle here happens to be, uh, say, 1.2 radians, it means that it subtends a length of 1.2 radius lengths along the circumference. 